Hi everyone, Yurena here and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about how I uh, take pictures outside, especially for my client shoots or model, it doesn't really matter. I'm just walk you through the process, through the thought process, what I'm looking for and what type of um, locations I'm choosing and etc. And I will also have some footage uh, from one of my recent clients photo shoot so this is actually photo shoot that I shot uh, an actual client and also I'm going to show you as a sample some of the pictures from that photo shoot they're not raw they're color corrected but they're not fully edited so just keep in mind that uh, okay so first whenever I pack for my outdoor shoot and uh, I love natural light. I love to uh, photograph natural light. So outdoors, usually that's what I do. And I used to photo just take my camera and uh, just shoot available, whatever it is. But now I do have uh, on the shoot, especially with the clients, I always uh, make sure that I have um, two important things. Number one is my five-in-one reflector, which is a white, black, silver, gold reflectors and a diffuser. I don't really use uh, gold or silver, uh, not black, I don't use for outdoors as well. I do use white reflector and a screen or diffuser. It's uh, for that, so whatever there is very hard light, you can hold it, it's like a translucent material, you can hold it against and kind of diffuse the light. Um, so those are very important, those I always keep in, um, make sure that I have those in my bag. I also pack a speed light and a um, trigger for a speed light. And I did use it for this particular photo shoot, but I don't use it every single time, kind of just in case. And of course, one more very important thing, especially for whenever you shoot on location, is to have an assistant. Uh, just to have in that spare set of hand is very, very important because Again, if you need to use reflector, you need someone to hold it, right? If you use a speed light, you need someone to hold it. And even just kind of to fix something on the client, on whatever, you, it's just great to have an assistant out there. And there is a many way to get it. First, you can always ask a friend or family to assist you. If you don't have option like that, then you can always post, for example, on the Instagram or Facebook that you're looking for assistant and somebody might actually help you out. Uh, the other way, you can also ask your client or slash your model, your subject to bring someone with them to help you out. And of course, like as a last resort, you can ask if you should somewhere where there is other people, you can ask someone on location there to help you out but of course it's not the best not ideal way just because you know if there's a stranger they probably have their own things to do and they don't really have time for the like 15 30 minutes to be with you on the set and just uh, hold your reflector but um, in that case I would really if that's the case if they really would do that for you I would suggest you to kind of reimburse them some way maybe just to snap in the end snap a few portrait shots for them as well to use just to kind of say thank you for their help now when we're ready we're packed we have our gear in place we have our assistant uh, whenever you shoot natural light you always have to keep in mind the time of the day because it's really important the quality of the light the photo shoot that i'm going to show you footage from is i start shooting around 3 34 pm uh, and it was in june um in houston so it's kind of the light is still really really um up and it's quite harsh but i personally i'm not one of those people who don't like harsh light i think that you can really work around that and also you will see some of the pictures that actually um there is a hard uh, shadows on the face but they still look really really great and my client end up loving them and selecting them as well so uh, i don't think that hard um, shadows on the face necessarily a bad thing you just need to know how to work around them and still kind of make sure that overall image looks nice whenever i work with client on location i always know exactly what location i want them to photograph at of course when you look at there you can have some um, adjustments but it is it is really important to 
scalp location before and I talk more about it in depth in my other video uh, it called uh, how to take amazing pictures in average locations and I talk in scouting locations more in depth and I put the link down below if you want to, to watch that video whenever I work with clients I always know exactly where I want to photograph them and uh, if clients have an idea, great, then you will photograph them there. But as a photographer, you always have to have certain location up to your sleeve just to know exactly where to go. Next, whenever you start your photo shoot, I always take 10-15 minutes to warm up. What does it mean? I mean, I'm photographing, but I don't really expect much from that shoot because usually whenever you photograph someone, you see them for the first time they see you for the first time and it does take some time to get used to it and you need to get the sense and the feel of the client how they pose how they move what type of um, expression face expression they create how in order for you to understand how they want to be photographed so you can serve them the best so it takes some time and as I said it takes maybe like 10-15 minutes just kind of to warm up to get the sense of each other that's why I never go to my locations that I'm really excited for first for that reason because um, I usually keep them for the um, for later when actually everybody already feel comfortable taking pictures and we have a good flow going on and then we can really really work my particular style for portrait photography is I really like to take tight shots. Uh, the subject is the most important thing. So whenever I, see, I think of the shot, I always think for something to frame the person. So if you will even go to my Instagram, you will see that uh, majority of my photography is quite tight shots. It's just uh, currently that's my style. That's how I prefer to shoot. So I usually choose some nice texture of the background that I can use. And one of the location that I'm looking for as the nature is bushes. I absolutely love them. Why? Because usually they kind of they higher than the um, usual human height, and a lot of them sometimes they can have flowers. They look very pretty and they have that texture, and I really really like it. So number one is I look for bushes because I really like those. So Svetlana wanted to um, do so that there is like a little lake type of thing like the water and the trees and she wanted that there's a big round so I did a set for her there and she ended up loving the pictures as well uh, and just a little note if your client want to shoot somewhere please always always do don't never talk them out the only way you can talk your client out of something if it's physically impossible to do the shot that they maybe envision but other than that if you actually can do the shot please please do because you don't you never want your client feel regret or feel that um, there's something uh, left there that they wanted to try and you didn't because customer service is always important in the end you do provide service so what I do, I always ask my client, uh, do they have some ideas? And if they do have ideas within the photo shoot that they have to tell me, uh, I always welcome them. And clients do sometimes have very good ideas as well. And then already I shoot whatever I have in mind for them. The second location was those beautiful wines. And I love them. As I said, my personal style, I love always to look for something to frame the person and whenever I found those great vines actually I didn't find them I had an idea of them as I told you I already have I always have the locations in my mind written down um, where to shoot and I love it because they frame face so nicely and believe it or not, interestingly, it looks like I use artificial light to lighten up, but it's really not. It uh, On the picture, it actually looked like I used some fill light, either flash or reflector, to sh put the light into her face. But it's really not. It's just a natural, 100% natural light, which was absolutely beautiful there. Got some gorgeous, gorgeous images. And then uh, Svetlana changed and we moved to uh, a big rocks. And I would suggest you to have something that your subject could interact with and uh, in the, on the set. So you can also have different uh, poses, different variety poses. So for, because let's say if your subject just stay in a pretty place, all they can do is well stay, right? Different poses. But whenever there is something like a rock 
or a bench or I don't know, depend on your location. Um, for example, for us, we were able, like uh, Svetlana could like sit on it and lean on it and it was really, really nice and kind of different, entirely different pose flow. So it provide the opportunity to take very, very different shots from the previous locations, which is really good for you to create that kind of variety for your client to choose from later on. And then I really like that location because uh, I actually shoot at that location before and I believe I have a video on this channel and um, it's one of the series um, three photographers shoot one model and that was with Xenia and you can see that we actually photograph model in, in that setting and uh, I'll put the link uh, down below, it was actually really really fun. Unfortunately, later on the rain started and we had to leave but yeah, it was really really cool shoot so I remember that spot because the rock was cool, but what I really like, there is a patch of a tall grass right next to it. And I absolutely love it. First, bushes. Absolutely love, I look for bushes everywhere or the tall grass. So that way, I really like that whenever subject, subject emerge in the background, it feels like it feels very organic. And I personally, as a creative, I really like that. And we end up doing a cool shoot there. Unfortunately, I don't have a um, behind the scenes footage because again, the light was, there was casting a hard shadows on her face and I had um, Nazim, my assistant, to hold the reflector. So she wasn't able to actually do the behind the scenes from that set. But you can see the pictures from this shoot, what I end up with. Uh, also, you can see the pictures from my previous shoot in my uh, video, um, three photographers shoot the same model. It was a very, very fun one. So I do invite you to check them out. The last I saved the location that was very, that I was very excited about. So I have never shot there before, but I've scouted it maybe a year ago. And I do talk about importance of scouting and how I scout my locations in the video, uh, how to take great shots in average locations. And I mentioned it, link will be down below. What I really like about that, and now when I'll explain you, uh, you will know why, because it's lots of bushes. If you didn't get it by far, I love bushes when it's come to nature. And they palm tree bushes, so they're kind of little palms. And what I love, I absolutely love, love palm, uh, palm leaves because of the texture. I think it looks so, so beautiful on the shot. And this is actually a place where uh, there is a little miniature train goes for the children, like a chichu train. And it kind of passes through that spot. So the, so the place is actually very secluded, secluded and you cannot really see it from the outside. And we actually, the train was actually passing while we was having our shoot and people was very surprised to see us there because it's kind of like a bushes and, but there is some people with the camera <laughs> and then, yeah, it was really funny. Anyways, uh, for that location first, uh, light was good, but I still went with the flash, uh, with the, my speed light because I wanted kind of more magazine type of thing, more editorial. I still went with natural light as well, just because it was soft and nice. And my client actually uh, ended up choosing the um, natural light ones, but I think they all was very nice. And location, I was really, really happy finally shoot there because I remember about, I wanted to shoot there for a year and I finally was able to, so I was very, very happy. So that was a walk through uh, my, the process of my photoshoot clients, photoshoot that I do outdoors, the process, the thought process behind it, how I choose my locations and how I go with it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found something useful for you or at least entertaining. And if you want to hear or see more, please do subscribe, I'll upload frequently and if you have any suggestion, please do comment down what you think about that uh, or suggest a topic for a video, I'll definitely consider it. 
and please subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up if you like the video make sure to check out how to take amazing shots in average location video and as well as three photographers shooting one model with Ksenia at the same location so you can see how picture is different and yes hopefully see you next time bye